Disney Lady and the Tramp. Disney Lady and the Tramp. Lady was a lucky little cocker spaniel. She had everything a dog could want. Her beloved owners, Jim Deere and Darling, had pampered her since puppy foot. They gave her the tastiest tidbits to eat and the softest bed to sleep in, and they showered her with affection. Lady returned the kindness by waking her master each morning with a gentle lick on the cheek. And while he was at work, Lady stayed close to her mistress, protecting her from possible harm. But one day, everything changed. As Lady told her friends, Trusty and Jack, Darling now seemed more interested in the tiny sweater she was knitting them in her faithful friend. Lady's palace quickly put two and two together and figured out that Darling was going to have a baby. Babies are mighty sweet, trusty, the blood for bloodhound said, and very, very soft. Jack the Scotty added, Why a wee babe is nothing but a bundle of trouble. An unfamiliar voice chimed in. The voice belonged to a scruffy stranger named Trump. Though Trump had no family of his own, he seemed to know quite a lot about babies, and none of it was good. Take it from me, pigeon. Trump told the lady, a human herd has only so much room for love and affection. When a baby moves in, the dog moves out. Although Trump's words worried the lady, she couldn't believe that her family would ever be unkind. And once the baby was born, lady saw just how wrong Trump had been. For not only did Lady still have her family's love, she now had one more person to cherish and protect. Everything was fine until Jim Deere and Darling decided to take a short vacation. Don't worry, all the world, Jim Deere told the Lady before they left. Aunt Sarah will be staying here to care for you and the baby. But Aunt Sarah soon made it clear that she didn't not like dogs at all. To make matters worse, she had brought her two nasty cats along. Lady watched helplessly as they wrecked the living room and terrorized the goldfish and the bird. When the cats headed upstairs, however, Lady sprang into action. She raced ahead to stop them from entering the nursery. The nasty creatures tried to run by her, but the lady stopped them in their tracks with a threatening growl. Aunt Sarah had the commotion and poked her head out of the nursery. She took one look at lady growling and the two cats snivering and she ran to protect her pets. Oh, my precious pussy! She crooned, and scooping the cats in her arms, she carried them gently downstairs. Then Aunt Sarah dragged the lady off to the pet shop. I want a muzzle for this vicious beast, she told the sales clerk. I have just a thing, the clerk replied. Placing one of the awful con contraptions over the struggling dog's face. In desperation, poor lady ran out of the store. Outside, a pack of stray dogs began to chase her. 
horns blared, and tires screeched as the lady re raced blindly through the streets, across the railroad tracks, and into a strange and scary part of town. Her heart pounding, lady ran on with the strays yapping at her heels. Just when she felt she couldn't take another step, a brown ball of fire rushed to her side, biting and barking. Trump fought off ladies' attackers until every last one had turned tail and slunk away. Trump helped Lady remove the hate hateful muzzle, and then she told her, told him her tale of war. Poor Pige, he said when she had finished her story. You sure have had a terrible day. What you need is a night out on the town to cheer cheer you up. Trump led Lady. To a quiet little Italian restaurant, there they shared a delicious plate of spaghetti and meatballs, while the musicians serenaded them with a romantic tune. After dinner, Lady and Trump took a moonlight stroll. When they came to a patch of wet cement, Trump scratched a big hurt in the middle. And placed one of his paws inside it. Lady did the same. A silvery moon was high in the sky when the two tired dogs finally snuggled up under a tree and fell fast asleep. When they awoke the next morning, Lady was horrified to realize she had spent the whole night away from home. Oh, Pidgey, Trump said, "There's a big, wide world out there just waiting for us. Why go back at all?" "Because my family needs me," Lady replied, "and I need them. Besides, who will protect the baby if I'm not there?" Trump had no answer for that. He simply bowed his heel, his head, in defeat. And even though Lady was sad to leave Trump, she could hardly wait to return to her family. But when Lady got home, an angry Aunt Sarah was waiting for her. "I have a special place for you now," Aunt Sarah snapped as she led Lady to a doghouse in the backyard. "This should keep you out of trouble," she said. Chaining Lady to a stake in the ground. That night, Lady was mopping around the yard when a big gray rat scurried out of the wood pile, scampered up the porch, porch railing, and darted into an upstairs window. "That's the baby's room," Lady cried. She dashed forward, but. Was jacked to a painful halt by her chain. Lady barked frantically to attract Aunt Sarah's attention. Aunt Sarah finally appeared at the back door, but only to yell at the Lady, "Stop the racket!" she said, before slamming the door again. Just then, Trump raced into the yard. He had heard the Lady barking. And had come to help her once more. There's a rat in the baby's room, Lady said, and with no thought for his own safety, Trump ran inside to get the rat. Trump reached the nursery in the nick of time. The baby lay sleeping in the crib, and the rat was ready to pounce. Trump struck first. Far flew, and the furniture fell as dog and rat tore around the room. The rat was fast and fierce, but he was no match for Trump. By the time Aunt Sarah burst in, there was no sign of the rat, just.
Trump in the topsy TV room. Aunt Sarah thought that Trump had been after the baby, and she quickly called the dog catcher. Don't come back, you vicious brute! Aunt Sarah warned as Trump was carried off to the pond. As soon as the lady explained what had happened, Trusty and Jack took off after Trump. They chased the dog catcher through the dark and stormy night. When a taxi appeared out of the fog, the dog catcher's horses reared up and his wagon toppled over. Jim, dear, and darling were in the taxi. They had come home and discovered the rat. It was clear then that Trump had been protecting the baby and they went after him. He was a true hero. Jim Deere and Darling decided to take Trump into their home. This is where you belong, Jim Deere told the Trump. You are part of our family now. And soon, Lady and Trump had a family of their own, three pretty pups, who looked just like their mother, and one mischievous scamp, who clearly took after his father.